Hey everyone, I'm just going to do another quick video for you guys to see a demonstration of the rotary machines that I'm building. This one's all alloy and stainless steel. Very durable, very, very heavy duty. For sound, I'm going to let you hear the coil machine. Not tuned, but you get the idea. That's the sound the coil machines make. And, let me switch this power forward, because the rotary is an RCA. Big difference. Nice when you're trying to talk to your customers and you can actually hear yourselves talking, but when you got walk-ins that come in and they're asking you questions, you don't have to keep powering your machine off can actually keep tattooing and hear the conversation. Same features as the others, it's got the needle bar retainer, also made out of stainless steel and aircraft aluminum. It's got the needle retraction. Very nice feature for when you power the machine off, you don't end up with the needle sticking out of the end of the tube which can be a problem if you set your machine down real fast and the needle's sticking out and you end up barbing it. Guillotine vise with the screw on top's real nice I've found because with them sticking out of the sides they can tend to dig into your knuckles. Even no matter if you're right handed or left handed or which side the screw's on. They can get annoying sometimes especially if you got a big coin on there or something. This is nice because it keeps it out of the way. The hole is in a 5 16ths, instead I use an 8 millimeter, which is just big enough for that way you can use any tube you want, stainless steel, American standard, or metric tubes. Some of the disposables, they come in metric sizes and they're a little bigger, and you can't get them in your standard tube, I mean your standard vise, if it's been drilled out with a 5 16ths. You'll be mashing and pressing frustrated and will not be able to get your tube in. This you won't have that problem. This will accommodate any tube size. Very nice. This one has a S cap motor in it. Just as good as Maxon. For those of you who haven't heard of S cap, they're also Swiss made motors. Maxon just got the big name because everybody's using them. Monkey see, monkey do. You know how that goes. But you got Fall Haber or Fall Haber, however you say that. And S cap are just as good. It's got the same amount of torque. Stall torque, or, uh, RPMs, voltage ratings, it's virtually identical to a Maxon motor. There it is. Anyone interested? I build these one at a time. I hand mill them, build them myself. I don't have a large stock of available machines because of that. They're usually sold as soon as I build them. Every now and then I'll get a chance, I'll list one on eBay for auction, but if there's anything particular you want, if you really want the adjustable screws on there, I know how to build them. I can make them for you. I just don't, I just don't think they're necessary. I feel a, tat, a good rotary tattoo machine tattoos better with little or no give because you're getting a more consistent needle penetration. With give, you reach some tougher areas of skin like say for instance you're doing an arm and you're getting up near an armpit or wherever and the skin's different with give you're going to get an inconsistent needle penetration which means you're going to get inconsistent ink delivery so you're going to have to go over the skin more often you're going to cause more pain you're going to make it the tattoo take longer with a consistent needle penetration you're, you're going the same depth no matter what so for me in my experience with rotaries even the ones that I bought that had a give adjustment screws, I found they worked best with little or no give at all. That's just the way they seem to tattoo better. I think that's what made them more efficient. That's what makes my tattoos able to be done faster. They heal quicker. Less pain. I, I hear it all the time from my clients. So when I built my rotary, I have built some with the adjustment screw, but I just prefer it without it. A lot of people seem to... A lot of experienced rotary machine users tend to agree with me that little or no give is a more efficient way to tattoo. So, if anybody, if you really want it though, I can hollow that out, put a little spring or a little 
whatever you need in there to give you some give and the screw in the back just let me know build it however you want we can paint it powder coat it leave it bare metal whatever you want to do just let me know you can contact me on Facebook it's search Eddie Lawless E D D I E L O L L I S. Thanks.